Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today, we're checking out the newest Game Hub V4.0 emulator update. And let me tell you, this one's a complete makeover. From the login screen to game settings, everything looks and feels totally different. So let's break it all down and see what's new, what's better, and what's still the same. All right, so first up, launching the emulator. Right away, you'll notice that the login page has been completely redesigned. It's much cleaner and more modern now. You can log in using your email, Google account, or even Apple ID, which is super convenient. Earlier, after logging in, it used to bug you with a ton of permissions. But now, thankfully, no more of that hassle. You log in and boom, you're directly on the Explore home screen. Now, the Explore UI has also been updated. It looks flashier and more organized, but to be honest, I personally liked the older homepage UI a bit more. It felt simple and snappy. Anyway, let's scroll through it. You'll see tons of new game playlists here. Categories like adventure, shooting, advanced action, fighting, RPG, driving simulators, horror games, and even high-quality mini-games are all right here. Everything neatly listed and makes browsing more fun and easier. Now let's click on the menu icon. This part looks exactly the same as before, but when you go to the game section, you'll notice something new. Earlier, we used to add games from this section, but now it only shows added PC games and mobile games, and both are empty by default, so you can't add games from here anymore. To add a PC game now, go back to the home page and tap on the My button. The UI here is pretty slick. It honestly looks inspired by the PlayStation 4 or PS5 game library, and I kind of like that vibe. Before we add a game, let's take a quick look at the new settings option that's been added here. Inside the settings, you get to customize GPU drivers, firmware settings, and a few other performance-related options. These advanced settings can be really helpful for optimizing your emulator experience, depending on your device. Now let's import a PC game. Click on the Import PC Game option, then locate and select your game's .exe file. In my case, it's GTA 5. After that, the emulator will automatically begin downloading the necessary components. This might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed, so be patient. Once everything's downloaded and set up, head back to the My homepage. You'll now see your game icon right there. Tap the three-dot icon on your game and go to PC Game Settings. Here's where things get interesting. The General Settings section, just leave it as is. Then go into Compatibility Settings. In the old version, we had to tweak this according to our phone model, which was kinda annoying. But now, you don't need to change anything. The emulator automatically sets everything based on your device specs. Super helpful. Next, go into Input Mapping Settings. Tap Edit Current Mapping and customize your controls however you want. Once you're done, press back. It'll ask you to save as a new layout. Just name it anything and save. After that, go to Switch Input Mapping and choose your newly created layout. Finally, turn on Enable Input Mapping so your controls work in-game. All right, we're ready. Back to the My page. Tap your game icon, and now your game will start launching. During gameplay, you can access Quick Settings by tapping the Back button. Go into Settings from there, and you'll find options like Full Screen Mode and lots of other useful tweaks to enhance your experience. In my test run, GTA 5 started up smooth. Everything works as expected, and I played through the first mission to check performance. And honestly, there's no major improvement in FPS. Earlier, I used to get around 35 FPS, and now I get roughly 40. So a boost of 2 to 5 FPS, which is nice, but not game-changing. So yeah, the Game Hub V4.0 update brings a fresh new interface, better control over settings, and a cleaner experience overall. Performance is slightly improved, but the real win here is the simplified user flow and added features. If you've used the old version, this update will feel refreshing, but if you're new to Game Hub, this is probably the best version to start with. Let me know in the comments what game you're trying to run, and if the new update worked for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more emulator guides and game updates. See you in the next one.